All right, we're going to have another one of the installments on the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is entered by obedience. So we're going to look in the inspired and preserved words of God. See what it says. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Now, I believe in salvation by grace through faith without works. But here's a passage that says you get into the kingdom of heaven by doing the will of of the Father. Now there are a lot of denominations that teach that passage and others like it that you have to work, do good works to get into heaven. Church of Christ teach that. Some of the Pentecostal holiness teach that. Many of the cults teach that. That through obedience, those that are good go to heaven. But that's what that says. He that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Have you done the will of the Father which is in heaven? I haven't, not all the time. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? Well, that sounds to me like they're doing the will of the Father. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So they didn't do enough good works. They didn't obey the Father enough. So they won't get into the kingdom of heaven. Now, thankfully, I'm not trying to get into the kingdom of heaven. I'm not in the kingdom of heaven. You're not in the kingdom of heaven. In fact, no one on the earth is in the kingdom of heaven right now. I am in the kingdom of God, different kingdom altogether. The kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven are not the same thing. Now, 69 times the Bible speaks of the kingdom of God, and 32 times it speaks of the kingdom of heaven, and it speaks of both kingdoms together alike. In other words, they're the same in that regard. So the kingdom of God is different in many ways from the kingdom of heaven, but there are times when the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven are the same, obviously. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, not the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. In other words, it's not something that you look for that politically happens. It's not the institution of a regime or a reign or a system. It's not a place. It's not a time. It's not a thing. The kingdom of God cometh not with observation, neither shall they say lo here or lo there, for the kingdom of God is within you. So the kingdom of God has always existed as long as there's been God. Whatever he ruled over, wherever he ruled over it, heaven or hell, anywhere in the, in the stars, any other people groups that he's created, any alien forces, the devils, the demons, all of that, God is at the head of it. That's the kingdom of God. So it's not a place or a thing. It, it, is, it is the reign of God, especially concerning the hearts of men and angels. Now, the kingdom of heaven is different from that. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. So if you were to sum up what the kingdom of God is, <laughs> it's joy, it's peace, it's righteousness. It's something that dwells within you as God lives within you. The kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. So where the power of God is manifested, that's the presence of the kingdom of God. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. So in other words, when Jesus was present to cast out devils, that was the presence of the kingdom of God at that moment as those devils were being cast out. Now the kingdom of heaven is different. He said, pray thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The kingdom of heaven is something done in the earth uh, on the planet, on the ground, it's physical, visible, tangible. The kingdom of heaven is a physical, visible place, time, and kingdom. Woe unto you lawyers, for you've taken away the key of knowledge. You've entered not in yourselves, and them that were entering in you hindered. John the Baptist came and Jesus came preaching, Behold, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. 
And that's what he preached until after John was put to death. And then he started preaching, behold, the kingdom of God is at hand. Still preached the kingdom of heaven a few times, but the kingdom of God became the dominant theme after John was killed. So he said the lawyers, the scribes, the Pharisees had taken away the key of knowledge, that knowledge of the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven, how to know God. They wouldn't enter into that kingdom that John was offering, and they wouldn't allow anyone else to enter into it. They put John to death. But woe unto you, scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them, them that are entering to go in. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. We talked about that earlier. The violent take it by force. You can't take the kingdom of God by violence, but you can take the kingdom of heaven. Heaven, kingdom of heaven is the rule of heaven over the kingdoms of this world. It is God ruling in the, on this planet, and that has not happened. Jesus came offering it. They rejected it. But one day he's going to come back and set up a millennial reign of Christ upon the earth for a thousand years, and the kingdom of heaven will be present at that time. So the violent can take the kingdom of heaven by force. That's what the United States is doing right now. It's taking the kingdom by force of violence. Russia, China, they're all competing for that kingdom that would be ruled by heaven, but is not. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So when the Spirit of God comes and borns you again, puts his spirit inside of you, that's when the kingdom of God comes unto you. You can't show it to anyone. It's what it's God dwelling in your heart and your spirit and your mind. So I have a book that I wrote on the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven. And I was just looking at it today, and it's very impressive. I'm impressed with it. It's been so long since I wrote it. But it goes into great detail on these kingdoms. You see how we have parallel passages there? That's comparing the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven in all of the Gospels, every time the word kingdom is used is mentioned here in this book. And it's made very simple. I look at it a half a dozen different ways and angles so you'll thoroughly understand it. And I suggest you get that. I've had people, had a uh, uh, African, African a pastor, right, said he never understood the Bible till he read that. Had, of course, plenty of Americans do that as well. All right, I've got to get back out and do some more work on my jet boat. I just had some special aluminum come in that I ordered. Here's some solid inch and a half aluminum bar. Just came in in the mail yesterday. And so I have a special use for that. side put that in there'll be a seat on top of this and foam stuffed in it and back here's where the motor will be be a top on this and now I'm building a storage compartment on that side right there stuff life jackets and sandwiches in when I go out on the river having a lot of fun <laughs> you need to try it 